This table is my first table that I've done and it'll probably be my last. <laughs> this is a table of a friend. I saw it in their kitchen and I said to her, can I take your table and make it over for you? And she was like, sure. I was like, Great. Cool. <laughs> and the big surprise for her and me was when I sanded back this top. The wood on this top. Okay, if you've been following me for any amount of time and you've seen some of it's not all of my videos, but it's most of them. I just love a beautiful wood grain. It's just so pretty to look at. This tabletop is no exception. So that was a big surprise, a pleasant surprise. It has turned out so lovely. I can't wait. Phil is going to take the table to them in a couple of days. So with that, Let's get into the video. was a really big job. You don't want to look at my face that close, do you? I need to sand the sides and I think I'm going to do the legs. Did you see the wood? I mean, how could you miss it? Right? Look at that wood. Oh. Underneath all the soda. It's so pretty. Oh, I can't wait to see that. It's going to come up the treat. I've turned the table upside down and I'm going to be painting in Dixie Bell driftwood, which I, I think the driftwood is going to go really well with the stain because the stain is weathered oak and it has grey undertones. Driftwood? Is a grey. I've sanded it really well. I've done prep with Dixbell chalk paint. You can just um, clean your surface, which I already did, and then it has to be dry and then uh, a damp brush. Forgot that bit. Yeah. I'll be back. Now I'm ready. <laughs> um, so with a damp brush, I'm gonna go in and start painting. No, starting with it upside down just because. It's going to be a lot easier to paint the legs that way. I don't have to turn myself upside down.
10 minutes. I'm gonna let that sit on there for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna wipe it back. It says to five to 10 minutes, five to 15 minutes. So I'm going to let that set a bit and then wipe it back. Really happy with the color. It's looking so beautiful. I'm gonna give the legs a second coat. And I started on the chairs. I will show you <laughs> where I'm up to. You see the blue, you see that? I'm the worst, you guys. I did not take a before photo. <laughs> so, um, but that's the, the chair. Um, this paint, this blue paint is in pretty good condition. It's not peeling or chipping, so I'm just gonna give the other three chairs a really good wash first. Scuff sand. But I am going to get this back to that so I can stain the seats and I'll sand four inches on the bottom of all the legs just for a little something, something, a little something different. And as you'll notice, over time, these backs have fallen out, so the other three chairs don't have a back. So I'm gonna take that out so they're all matching. And then the other two chairs, the, these tops actually came unglued, snapped off. And so I'm gonna show you how I repair that. really big bit and I'm going to carefully and slowly drill out the dowel
I am using Min Wax Polyacrylic in semi, oh it's not semi, clear satin. And I'm using my zebra brush in my two inch angled. to give some more interest and detail to this set would be to you know tape off five inches at the bottom because of the wood because of how pretty it was I thought it would give it some interest and make it just a little more fun just something a little different and I didn't want to do the table the same be all matchy matchy I'm not matchy matchy so <laughs> I, I like it that the table legs are solid, but then you get this little bit of interest with the legs of the chairs. Let me know what you think. I absolutely love chatting with you guys in the comments. Anything I use in all of my videos is always listed in my description. Uh, I don't have affiliate links yet. We are working on that, but uh, they're just links to products that I use in the stores that I bought it from. Just to be helpful, sometimes people want to know and where to get it from. You can find all of that below. So if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And next week's piece is something for my son, for my older son. So stay tuned for that and I hope to see you guys on that video next week. Bye guys.